just saw each other in 2014, like yesterday. And it feels that way. It always feels that way. Uh, does anybody know, is it, was anybody here the very first time we played the Grog Shop? That, see, I don't even believe you. The guy that goes, yeah! I don't know, dude. I think he's having a good Tuesday night. Uh, but I just couldn't remember. I was trying to figure out when it was because we, we have been coming to this club for uh, like a really long time. Because now uh, that we're all in our 70s, um, yeah, we just can't remember things. Anyway, uh, so tonight we're going to perform an album called Double Platinum. I think you guys know. Right? And I get to start it. Here we go. Would it make you feel much better If it was you against the world If you were an alien If it were conspiracy It wouldn't hurt to live in comfort If you found someone to trust If you knew that you were with us If we shared a common goal Cause you will Cause you will find some 
Yesterday, and I'm here. I'd have been like, later. But like, all right, man. It's good. I'm glad you're here, man. I'm glad you're out. Buffalo. Sorry. All right. Let's go. Congrats on your birthday and your baby. That's awesome, man. Seriously. All right. What are we doing here? Oh, we're doing this one. This is my favorite song on this record. Ready?
you did mine when I saw you Turn me to nothing now I thought you guys got into my weed in the bathroom. Sativa or indica? It was a hybrid. Mainly indica. Did you guys smoke acid? We did the pot. Get on the pot. How's it going, Cleveland? Okay? Is it going okay? <laughs> Y'all have a good time with uh, Red City Radio tonight. Yeah. We're kind of on tour with them. We did like eight shows, and then two people got COVID, and then we stopped and we went home, and then we came back like five days ago, and now we're like five days. We're like, we're you know, I think we're gonna beat our record. But I don't know. I let you do some background vocals on my mic, so this might be the night, dude. You look healthy, though, so, I mean, who knows? Hey, weren't you pregnant, like, two years ago? She told me it was her first time, too. All right, so we're continuing with this uh, platinum record. This song's called Choke. Choke, choke, cry.
album things for a long time and we started doing them a while ago but we just do like two or three shows because our feeling was it's kind of weird you, you do an album and our old albums are like 28 minutes long 
So you, you, you play twice. So yeah, you play the record and then you're just all, all right. Thanks for paying like fifteen dollars. The album's over. Twenty-seven minutes. You're welcome. So you basically, you basically end up doing enough songs that it's like, it's just a set with like a bunch of songs from one record. And that's what's already about to happen with this record. We're like, look at, we're, I think we're on the last song on the album right now. Short records. That's all right. We're going to play a lot more afterwards. What'd you say, Biggs? Eat your stupid ham, Tina. <laughs> you want to do this to all my friends song? Tell them what it's, it's about, dude. Uh, Tis the season, bro. This song is about when you feel betrayed, betrayed by all of your friends because you're in a really ugly breakup and you decide to blame everybody else but yourself because you're young and dumb. And that was me when I wrote this record. Even though... She was the devil. That's not, that's not what story I wanted. And I'm Jesus in this scenario. Also, this is a Christmas song. I, I think uh, I was writing this record at a bar on little cocktail napkins right about a week before Christmas. And then I was like, you know what would be kind of funny when I was super drunk? I said, it'd be hilarious if this song to all my friends was Here Comes Santa Claus. You guys remember that? Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. I'm confessing right now. I never heard that song before. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, I mean, I am 80 years old. I'm Jewish, we only do Hanukkah songs. Whatever, the thing is, I thought it would be a funny joke, and then nobody got the joke, and then for years and years, everybody was like, yeah, play that song, man, to all my friends. And I was like, you know it's a joke, right? But here it is. To all my friends I know
can see what's meant to be has happened to us too. Maybe I enjoy being screwed. With someone else, you can tell me, don't believe they're all lying. There's no proof, but I'm not insane. I wanna thank you for all the things I did. How can I just write it off as feeling you did not and you wasted all my time looking for your life? You weren't there when I was here. There's no proof, but I am not insane. It's a good time. I feel like that's our used to have drums on. Okay, so uh, every time we made a record that was like 27 minutes long, like this one, uh, there was always a whole bunch of outtakes. And, uh, and I don't know why, but you know, we'd vote on the songs or whatever, and certain songs wouldn't make the record. But this next one definitely should have been the last song on this record as far as I'm concerned. It's about making babies. So it's from my buddy, I don't know where he went. Right there? Yeah. This song's called Raise a Family. mistakes the first time.
Uh, that's it for Double Platinum. You guys enjoy that? You know, okay, turn it on. And now we're going to play some other songs. Uh, but I hope it's okay with everybody when we uh, were rehearsing for this tour. We were, we were trying to newer songs and old songs. And we just ended up deciding that these are old records, so we're just going to stick with old songs. Okay? And this is the first one. It goes like this.
I think Joe died. He got hit by one of them crazy punkers, man. Oh my god, we lost another bass player. It's like Spinal Tap. Just fucking die on us. Turtle Syndrome. How you kids doing? Get up! How you old people doing? I'm sorry, Joe. That's like the old person alarm clock. Oh, uh, what's next? Oh, shit, dude. Is this one about my consumer cellular phone? Yes. Oh, no, not this song? Okay. Uh, this song's called Know It All. Now you already got cigarettes. I know, no, no smoke question tonight, but lots of cigarettes. I'm okay with that. Who thinks Nicorette? Nicorette, people. Well, we're not okay. playing that song tonight, but thanks for being so generous. Appreciate it. Tell me about this next two. All right, so... Uh, Another oldie, this song's about a tiny wood instrument that you put under your chin, and, you know, sometimes it creates a little sound like you're crying or whining about something, is what I've been told. But I can never remember the name of the song. Do you guys know the song I'm talking about? It's something like a, it's a, a classical instrument, Jello. sometimes in the South. They call it a fiddle. This song's called... Fiddle! Fiddle! 
Oh my god. It's just me again, guys. I'm super sorry to report this, but the band just broke up backstage. It was like a little fight over a bottle of Jameson and just, I don't know, got out of hand. I'm just kidding. I won. That's why I'm here. I'm small, but I'm tough. Like Pony Boy. Or no, Johnny. Like Johnny. Deaf Watching cars And focus on one Till it's gone Heroes die Off every day Like fathers they would Never stay The kids are all
Oh my God. Hello? No, we don't have any. Our set list are gone. Somebody took them all. And I'm too dumb to remember. <laughs> I think it's a song about beards and not shaving and losing your girlfriend in Italy. Hey, Cleveland, thanks so much for coming back. Appreciate it. I say this every night at some mm -hmm. point or said, but it, it doesn't make it any less true. I really, really believe this deep in my heart. We would not be coming back if you didn't keep coming back. And that's why we're a bunch of old men up here still doing it because you guys are still supporting us. So thank you. Cheers so much for that. Appreciate it very much. This one's for you guys. It's called Razor Burn. <laughs> Yeah. 